at this place in history. We're in Greensboro with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Steve, I know where we are and I'm pretty happy about it. I'm pretty happy too. <laughs> we are going to combine history and one of my favorite subjects, beer. We're going to talk to Sean Hill of Hill Farmstead Brewery about his family's history in this town and how that intersected with the producing of a world-class beverage. Why open Hill Farmstead here in Greensboro? Why not here in Greensboro? My family came to Greensboro in the late 1780s. The idea of uh, trying to find something that I could that I could do in order to stay in this place was was really something that had been driving me for a while. It kind of takes like an, an innovative, spirited soul to uh, to figure out what what they can do in order to uh, to function and survive here. And my my family has been living in this place uh, for over 200 years. Um, I grew up playing on the remnants of my my grandfather's barn. Um, that burned down the year before I was born. Traveling the world, I always, always sort of like missed home, but also realized like how special it is to have what I would call a sense of place. So there's there's definitely a historical connection for yeah. you here, and I think fans of your of your product know that it's named after folks in your family. I knew that beer number one uh, should be named after my grandfather Edward, who who is the the last person farming here on this land, and that led to this. Uh, this unfolding, I was like, okay, like I will use Lewis's genealogy, Lewis Hill. He did all this historical research on on the family tree going back to to John Hill in England, and at that point, there are too many John Hills for him to <laughs> differentiate. Um, that I would I would name beers after ancestors that grew up here on this specific piece of property, uh, as well as philosophical works that I found inspiring. There's wonderful little essays I think written on on the website, your website. That gives their background. Did you research those yourself? The majority of that information is all, is all, was all provided by Lewis. But when it came to information and stories about individual people, it was literally based on uh, folklore and uh -huh. or uh, the oral tradition. And, and I think one of the, the sad, unfortunate things about oral traditions and history is that when, when people pass away, not everyone is lucky enough to have a, a biography written about them. There's, there's just like this slight slight flame that, that flickers for a while and then sort of burns out and they're forgotten. Um, and, and a little bit of, of starting the brewery here and naming these beers after Edward and his 13 siblings is sort of in a way uh, keeping those those ghosts alive. Through the research, is there any particular ancestor or family member that story you, you most identify with or most inspires you? Af after almost 10 years of being in business, um, there is one ancestor who just seemed, all I know is is sort of what he accomplished and not, not anything about what it was like to hang out with him or have a beer with him. Right. Um, this ancestor named Samuel, who built the road from, uh, from Greensboro to Greensboro Bend, fought in the Civil War, Patented a milk cooler, super, <laughs> super, seemingly super creative person that was that was all over, uh, and jack and of all just, trades. Yeah, just like always driven. It, it took a long time to figure out precisely what what beer would be novel enough to to like put this name on it, so that we didn't didn't just sort of uh, make the beer once and then and then use this name that seemed to to warrant like such prestige and creativity within mm -hmm. within the family's uh, ladder. Um, so after 10 years, we finally, uh, I guess it was that nine years, we released that beer last year. What has that meant to you? I mean, your beer has had worldwide attention and, and continues still, but not only are you getting that global attention for your product, but also for your family's legacy here in Greensboro. Um, I, I don't know if I've really processed what that, what that means to me. It's, it's interesting, um, like talking to family members. When you're, when you're so intimately connected uh, to something, that sometimes it's difficult. It's more difficult to process what it means while you're still in it. Relatives, I mean, hearing from my my father or, or some of these relatives that have visited is a, is a really fascinating perspective. Um, and I think that whatever perspective I'm still developing is is still based on their perspective and their stories uh, coming back in. At this place in history.